I didn't choose this life. Let's just be clear on that. What's up, y'all? Master Sir here. I know I figured out how to do the camera thing that I did last video, and I've changed the setting once again to this. I can see now that this is going to be very annoying to watch. My apologies. 12 Days of Anime Episode 6. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What happened to me? You saw that? Anyways, video is weird. All right, so I just woke up, so I'm going to apologize in advance if this video is trash. Ah, but here's the thing, right? I had mentioned yesterday that uh, freaking I was doing like a top 10 video. And I think anybody who could been watching these by now can tell that I don't really have necessarily a plan to do this. Like I, have, I know things I want to talk about, but actual plan. So I'm just going to start talking like right now. All right, here's the deal. When it comes to that top 10 anime list, top 10 blah, 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 top 10 blah, blah, blah. Even searching on Google for a proper appropriate thumbnail to this. They had top 10 superpowers, top 10 ant villains, top 10 deaths. You know, they always got to do those videos. Top 10 fight scenes, yada, 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 yada. And I mentioned that top 10 lists were trash in my last video. They are. Your top 10 list is trash. You know why it's trash? Because to me, top 10 list is a done now. It's, it's, like, it's over. And guys, I'm, on my screen, I got this picture of Soma getting tackled by all his friends. I see right now, right here, this guy with broken glasses, a nut shot. Like, this guy just has this going to somebody's crush and two panty shots. So if I keep looking up at my screen, I apologize. And I just told you that I'm related to this video. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to that, right? The reason why I think the top 10 list is trash is because basically, it, to me, it puts a cap on things. You know what I'm saying? Like, my top 10, I, I, I was at a stream, one of those streams I used to do. And when I told you those weekly streams, Alejandro, Alejandro Pupo, as he's being called now, he asked me my top five animes. I believe I'm more like he said things on the line of Fooey Cooley. There was a tie second place for Hunter x Hunter, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, Cole Geass was definitely one of them. Uh, I don't know. Recently I said Beck was that good shit. So I want to put Beck up there. And then I was like, well, Carol Tuesday kind of hit me harder than Beck did at the time. So, yeah. Now I've been rewatching some stuff of Beck and I'm just like, hmm. So, hmm. So then it just hits me like... What about the other two shows I already had in the top five? Oh, there, see, it happened again. I just went. My video's trying to transport me to another place. But, uh, yeah, they, they just hit me and be like, this is dumb as fuck. Why am I trying to do this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because your taste is going to change and your top five is going to change, which is not bad. It's just that it feels like when you try to change things in your top five, you're like, so this anime is better than this anime all of a sudden? I mean, not necessarily. Right now, I kind of feel... You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, a few months ago, Karen Tuesday was hitting. Before that, Beck was hitting. And now Beck is hitting again. So, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Also, this also ties into any other top ten list. It's not, it doesn't have to just be anime. This is just a universal thing. But, you know, one of the realest things up here nowadays... When I was first talking to my friends, I got into anime, a friend of mine, he, basically his anime, the thing that got him big on anime like that, was Gurren Lagann, and he loved Gurren Lagann, then he started watching Fairy Tale, and he loved Fairy Tale, so like, what's your favorite anime, Gurren Lagann, and then a few months later, what's your favorite anime, I think it's now Fairy Tale, I love Fairy Tale, then actually a few months later after that, he was like, you know what, I already got one, there you freaking go, there you go. Of course, I'm different, you know, it's a broken record at this point, but anytime you ask me my favorite anime, I'm going to say Fooly Cooly. But there's different reasons why people like their anime the way it is. So it's like this. When it comes to freaking other genres, like biggest thing that reminds me of this is music. I heard one time a YouTube video, actually with My Way Entertainment, I believe. It said, my, what's my favorite song? I don't know. It could be this song today. It could be this song right now. Shit, if I shut my phone right now, the last thing I was listening to was Daft Punk. So there you go. <laughs> that punk instant crush. It was the last song I listened to on my dri drive home from work last night. Or this morning, rather. <laughs> so yeah. That punk. There you go. <laughs> That's what's hitting right now. Mm -hmm. And think about that with the top with the... I'm watching you. Anyways. You just think about that with the freaking... 
anime things, put that same logic in the damn shh. <laughs> Fucking phone. Uh, when you're doing that, right? That thing is throwing me off. Basically, it's like this. Yesterday, I was watching some Beck. Yeah. Today, I need to start cashing up on other shows. I haven't decided what that is. So, I'm doing that. Tomorrow, Food Wars comes out. And the big-ass clash where Aaron is supposed to put up top dish supposed to be so much in the whole E10. So, obviously, that's going to be the shit next week. That's what will be all I'm thinking about. <laughs> so, there you go. I just hate the idea that you have to make a top 10 list. You have to put shows over other shows. The biggest thing that actually hit me to actually do this video straight up, the big reason for this, right? If this is going to be your top five, you have made your decision. This is your top five right here. There are other shows that's going to come out in the future. I know I just said Cole Geass, Yu Yu Hakusho, Hunter, and Fooey Cooley. Yes. Hell, these are the shows I've watched over these years. It's the franchises that I have dipped into. Long-running franchises. Shows like Food Wars. Shows like JoJo. Like... It, it, it seems... I know there's not everybody here is not a JoJo fan, but if anybody who's been following the parts of JoJo like I have, even though I'm not finished with Part 5, it feels criminal not to put JoJo up there. <laughs> it really do. And, so, and that's sometimes, even if it's just a nostalgia pop, you forget about some shows that you love like hell. Like, I was, yeah, I was talking about Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo. Like, come on, man. You know a show that I sleep on? Not sleep on because I love this show, but show I don't really think about like that. that. Every time I think about it, oh, that show was the shit. Soul Eater. Soul Eater is always that show for me. Every time I think about Soul Eater, be like, oh yeah, Soul Eater was that good shit. I just don't think about it like that. I don't know why. But shh. It's something like that. And of course, there's other classics that hit. Like I just said, with Karen and Tuesday. Of course, right now, Dr. Stone is hitting. Even though, for some reason, I couldn't get views off that show to save my life. Bob Psycho, definitely. A lot of people fell in love with One Punch Man. They wanted to quick off in season two for some fucking reason. <laughs> Same thing for Overlord. I don't know. I don't know. I still like it. I, don't, I get that season three maybe wasn't as hype as the first two seasons, but the only thing about Overlord is it kind of focused away from Ains all the fucking time. So, I don't know. If you're an Ains fan, you're an Ains fan. Also, I still got that board upstairs. I didn't have to show you up. I haven't showed you that board in a long time because it's kind of been back upstairs just hiding. I'll bring it down for, before the short day the anime is over. I think got Helsing on it. Helsing is definitely up there. And my favorite female in anime, well, I guess for YouTube reasons, I have to continue to say Lady Sasuke. But outside of YouTube, I say my favorite female character in anime that kind of hit me as a strong female character that took the whole series was Revy from Black Lagoon. So Black Lagoon, yeah. All of a sudden, after Black Lagoon, that was that's also another thing. Because there was a period where I was watching anime shows with my brother, right? And Dororo was one of the shows I put in my top five where I did that list with. Oh, I don't know. But we was watching shows like fucking Bakano. We That's why I watched Hunter for the first time, the 1999 version. We watched fucking Death Note. We watched Hellzine, Black Lagoon. We were just covering our bases of a bunch of shows everybody always talk about that we didn't watch yet. We were just running through them. Those are all instant classics. Then you put them next to the other shows, yeah, you just start to think, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe they hit you the way those shows hit you at the time, but that show hit you, right? And it just becomes like, damn. Like, top 10 of all time? Of all time? Really? <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe that just, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me being indecisive and shit. It would just me not be able to make a decision on things. But, to me, it ain't really worth all that. Like a top 10 list, I ain't gonna give you a top 10. I'm gonna give you this list is fire. I'm gonna give you dope anime shows you need to watch before you... Mm -hmm. I saw that, you fuck. The phone's trying to erase me. Anyways, I'll give you that. Why I think of some of my dopest animes just... But anyways, yeah. But well, top list, top ten list. Now there is exceptions to this. I mean, kind of like I said, like with all time, you can do a top ten list of like a certain period. Yeah. Like if I had to do a top ten list of all the shows I've watched since I've been on YouTube, of all the shows I've reacted to, 
That would probably be the most challenging that I would go for. Because I've been on YouTube for how long? Well, I have, I've been on YouTube for seven years, but I haven't been reacting for seven years. I've been reacting since the end of 2013, so it's really only been about five. I've been reacting. But that's still half a fucking decade. <laughs> that, something like that would be like a cap for me. Like, I can give you... Uh, uh, also, at any given year, you can easily do a top ten. Yeah, there, there's exceptions. Like, if I did a top ten... Well, I can't do a top ten in 2019 because I was only here for half of them. But... <laughs> Like if anybody else that was here all year doing YouTube videos covering the seasons and stuff, they could do a top 10 or something of the year. Because you're only watching like five or six shows every season anyways. So you got to just pick out 10 for like 20. That's not, that's not that hard. Especially if everything you just, is still kind of fresh on your mind from the year. If your mind, memory is better than mine, by the way. <laughs> so, you could do that. But overall, I mean like, damn. Like I got to go through all the shows I've reacted to. But that might actually be a good challenge for me now that I think about it. Would you mind react? No, I can't do that. Tch. There could be so many shows I forget about at the time that my channels are gone. Like, I no longer have the original videos for Master Cell X2 because I deleted them all when I first got the strike crisis. But, I, but I'm stuck in it now. Okay, I'm here. No, I just watched a Matt Hardy video before I did this. I'm about to be deleted. Oh! I don't know why I do that. Like, I... If it's not focused on me, then what then? Like... But yeah, man. I might do that video now that I think about it. I have to think, though. Like, I have to just run down the line. Because I don't have all my old reactions anymore. I don't want to forget nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know if I face day night. I mean, I can, I can say that. I don't know what made me think of that just now. Anyway, this video is 12 minutes, so I need to get up out of here. But yeah, man. Fuck a top 10 list. <laughs> That's basically what to take away from this video. To me, there's no point anymore. Top, let's take that out. There's probably like 10 animes you need to... That, 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 that is the key right there. Just don't say top. 10 animes you need to see if you're a Shonen fan. 10 animes you're going to need to see if you like food. 10 etchies you know you're going to love. 10 of the craziest animes you can watch. And then you can just have people add on to that. that. That's how you just make a good discussion of it. Just tell, just throw, throw the wheel, take the, give the wheel to your subscribers, and be like, you have any shows you want to add to this list? Go ahead. You know, it doesn't have to be a top ten. You can just be like, off the top of your head, be like, hey, I saw this show. It was dope. Crazy animators would be like, Fooey Cooey, Killer Kill was crazy. That show was off the chain. Serial Spirit Lane is one of my favorite sci fi That shit was crazy. But just to put it on there, if you guys haven't seen Coco Cool yet, hey, you might buy with it. Go check it out. Easy. Easy. Ain't got to worry about what's better than anything else. You'd be like, yeah, it was a dope anime. Crazy shit happened. Watch it. Matter of fact, I'll start right now. Just with that. A crazy anime. Anime that was crazy. That blew your mind. And some bullshit. Not some bullshit, but you know. So you can't really explain what the fuck was going on. <laughs> anime who's seen Lane. You don't know him to try to explain that. Also, Fooly Cooley. You guys, not too many people have seen Coco Koo. You know, they don't know about Handler, Harold, Harold the Handler. So, you know, they don't know too much about Fit Grandpa and all that shit. It's a shame, but, you know. <laughs> they even show you guys thought it was crazy that you enjoyed. There's nothing else. You watch this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Halfway through the 12 Days of Anime. Interesting. How'd I make it this far? Even I don't know. Peace out.